I, I don't know if this is a question you can answer, but I've always wanted to know this. Um, were you all really close friends, like celestial friends, in the same sphere? And if so, or if not, how did you all kind of come, did you come together at the same time, uh, you know, as spirits to decide when you're coming back or what was going to happen, or can, can you answer any of that? Or? Sure, I can, yeah. Um, the, the truth is that many of you have a concept of friendship that is actually quite distorted in terms of, and once you become a celestial spirit, you, you start, you go through this process where you realise really that everyone is your friend, but the people who are, you are the most attracted to are the people who are mostly doing God's will and, and doing the things God's way. Um, they are the ones who you feel the most connection with. So while, so while every single person on the planet and every single person in the spirit world you have a feeling of love uh, for, um, you also have very, very strong bonds obviously with those people who are following the divine uh, love principles to the utmost in their life. So, so how it worked in the spirit world was that um, as I was progressing through the spirit world, I would be the first person to enter a new sphere or a new dimensional space. That new dimensional space was created the moment I entered into it. Does that make sense? And then the, the next person who was developing, and, uh, and usually that became Mary uh, as being the next person, and then she would enter that sphere and now that sphere changed in its complexion to suit both of our, uh, the com combination of our soul and its creation. Unfortunately, through much of our progress, um, I was obviously ahead of Mary, so, so what would happen is that I would spend a lot of time in Mary's sphere, and nobody, um, until the Mary entered the sphere I was in, would spend any time in my sphere. Does that make sense? So, so I've had the experience most of my life where entering a new sphere um, was, was a place where I was the only person there. So obviously, um, even though I entered that place and I was in a different connection with God in that place, every time you do that you progress and you're in a different connection with God in that place, but what would happen is that I would obviously not spend a lot of time there because obviously I'm wanting to assist others to get into that same condition. So, so, so that meant that I had a home in that new sphere. Uh, so every new dimensional existence that you progress into, you have a home that's created that's a reflection of your soul. Does that make sense? So I had a home in that sphere, but I didn't live in it very much <laughs> until Mary joined me in that sphere. And then uh, we lived, in it, lived together, obviously, until I made another progression into the next sphere. And, and that process finished in the 21st sphere for me and Mary, in that we both had to enter the 22nd sphere together. So, so that was a wonderful time from my perspective because it just meant that, you know, for the first time in my existence, I was not entering a new location without anybody being present to experience that at the same time. Does that make sense? <laughs> 